Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. People who serve or have served in the military know all about making sacrifices to help others. And tonight's veteran chose to deploy to Afghanistan so a friend could care for a sick parent. KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer explain in this week's Veteran Salute. Looking for a new direction in life after her grandfather's death, Wichita native Kristen Sickler joined the Army in September 2000, just after graduating high school. After basic training, she went to Fort Lee, Virginia to become a 92 Alpha, short for an automated logistical specialist, before receiving orders to New York. I worked at a place where we would order parts for uh, jobs that we would open with different sections in the military. As a 92 Alpha, Kristen Sickler would work to keep parts supplied at her duty station of Fort Drum, New York. So we had a uh, weapons shop that fixed weapons. We had shops that fixed Humvees, shops that fixed um, generators, all the big equipment, just different shops. And they would come to our office, open up a job, then we would be responsible for the parts and pulling everything for each job. After 9-11, Sickler had no idea whether or not she deployed to the Middle East until... My friend that was in the same unit as I was, she volunteered to go. And um, she then her mom got sick and was may possibly pass away. And so since she her, her and I had the same job, so I told her I'd go in her place. In July 2003, Sickler deployed with the 710th Forward Support Battalion to Kandahar Airfield, working logistics at one of the largest military bases in Afghanistan. It's pretty scary at first, especially, mm. you know, well, the very first night we got there, um, stuff was, a lot of noise was happening and we hadn't even really been briefed and you'd only been in training for that stuff, you know. So it was kind of scary, but you get used to it and it's just kind of becomes normal life for a while. The airfield under constant threat. A guy had got in and was shining a mirror out to another guy out outside of our, you know, base, and they shot in. It di and didn't get anyone, but it, it was really like right in the middle of where we were. Sickler recalling working logistics for countless missions. When they would go out on the convoys and stuff and come back and bring vehicles that were damaged, obviously the people were were injured. At times facing a heartbreaking reality. Some people, yeah. Some people that I knew, they were not in my actual company, but a different company. Were they out on a mission of some kind? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Sickler would spend nine months in Kandahar, the friend whose place she took grateful for her selfless act of kindness. Her mom ended up passing away to, while, while we were gone, so I was glad I did it for her because yeah. she needed to be there for her mom. After her time in the service, Sickler worked for the Army in a civilian capacity. She now works for the Department of Defense in contract management. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Army veteran Kristen Sickler, who served our country and obtained the rank of E-4 and spent time in Afghanistan. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.